February 11th is the International Day of Women and Girls in Science. It's a day that was designed to help bring awareness to the lack of diversity in the field and encourage more girls to pursue careers in STEM. As we celebrate Black History Month, we are joined today by co-authors of Overnight Code, The Life of Ray Montague, the woman who revolutionized naval engineering, Dr. David Montague, and Paige Bowers. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. First of all, can one of you guys tell us more about Ray Montague. Uh, sure, and uh, I'll be glad to. Uh, and by the way, thank you so much for having us uh, on this morning. Um, I think my, 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 my mother would say, uh, in terms of explaining about her elevator speech, would be that uh, she always believed in trying to do the best she could with whatever resources she had. She believed in thinking outside the box, and she certainly believed that as if you work hard, and you had the acumen to do well uh, uh, at whatever your goal is, um, that you shouldn't expect for people to just open doors for you. However, uh, it is your obligation as you move forward in your career to open doors for other people. So she did that throughout her life. And I think that people will want to know that not only did she have an outstanding career, but she was just an outstanding person the way she helped and motivated others. Cool, and Paige, what inspired you guys to write a book about her life? I think it was more a case of people looked at her inspiring life as um, a groundbreaking naval engineer that revolutionized the way it was done, like manual. It was it used to be drawn manually, and she um, evolved it so that it it could be done by computer. Um, it, her stories were always so remarkable, and people always told her she should write a book. Mm. And so eventually, when she showed up on television on Good Morning America, uh, an agent approached her about writing her memoir. And um, David, his mother, and I got together uh, to try to make that a reality because she really did touch a lot of people um, just throughout her life, but also on this program that day mm -hmm. and so that's how this whole, whole thing started okay cool so we know diversity is important but why do you guys think that diversity is so important especially in the stem field well you know um my mother uh saw early on that there was a, a lack of uh, diversity uh for uh, and the lack of equity and even access and even growing up in here in arkansas back when she was in school uh as a young kid women girls were required to take um home economics and she didn't want to take home economics she wanted mm -hmm. to take shop mm -hmm. and so you know challenge after challenge after challenge uh, she saw that there was a lack of women in male dominated fields such as engineering mm -hmm. uh and sadly uh even when we went to visit the navy in 2017 when they honored her as their hidden figure uh, some of the women that worked there said that that's still unfortunately the case not only just the navy but other places too lack of access for minorities for women mm -hmm. uh, and so my mother certainly believed that inclusion of, of everyone uh, not to judge people based on where they're from what they look like what they value what their you know beliefs are things of that nature uh, just treat everybody the same and give them opportunity because even though she did not get all those opportunities uh, herself and had to fight her way through the door, uh, she certainly believed in giving back to others, no matter what they look like or where they're from. Cool. All right. So where can people get this book if they want to check it out? Uh, anywhere you buy books. Uh, Amazon, IndieBound, um, Bookshop.org. Um, it's out there and it's waiting to be read. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having us. We appreciate it. All right. Really appreciate it. All right. We'll be right back.